Warning, the following message is due to unstable speeds and unsettling frame rates on your Ninja 5. Have you seen the following kangaroo? He tends to appear while your creativity is in action and your ideas are at play. If this idea bothers you, and you feel that you need a solution, and if you can afford it, maybe you should acquire a new HD. One of the main reasons I acquired the Nikon was to capture ProRes RAW. But prior to that, I was in it for analog. So, I also did not want to spend too much money on all the equipment and everything that came along with purchasing this system. So I opted to upgrade everything along the way and get the things that I wanted the way I required it. So, one of the things I always like thought were the same were hard drives. And apparently that's not the case, especially when it comes to SSDs. Now, I always thought that since they're not spinning, that it did not matter and they're all the same. Well, ever since I acquired the Nikon, I was always having problems acquiring 24K at uh, 24 frames per second or 30, where every like minute or so, this pesty kangaroo will just pop up. And I always wondered why. I always blame Atomus for this issue. I contact them quite a bit and I even ask them to take the unit back so they can fix it. And well, in the last couple of weeks or so, I've been actually using the system quite a bit. And then I just thought to myself, what if I just change the hard drive? Because it's the only thing that I haven't changed thus far, as far as like what connects the camera to the Ninja. I changed cables, I changed everything, and regardless, the, the problem persisted. So that was, that's what I did. And in the process, I also found that they sell additional caddies for the Ninja 5, and I got it. So this little thing is roughly $40 or less. And uh, they're caddies from Artemis that you use with your Ninja 5. And the best thing about it is that it's not just one, but it's a set of five. There's five caddies right here for you to use. It's a great deal due to the fact that most of the hard drives are quite expensive to uh, use with this system. Let me share some of the some of my findings that I already put into my uh, into my Amazon account so that I don't have to like fiddle with this all the whole at night. So let me just do this stuff right here and get it to that proper. And uh, let me see. So this is my cart. And in it Prices range anywhere between um, $65 to $458 for a hard drive. And some of these hard drives are not even one terabyte. Some of them are only $500 or $250. So you're paying a lot for not even that much storage. And if you're using ProRes RAW, you're probably going to be using a lot of, uh, a lot of memory. So... You have to take that into account. But one thing I do know is that you don't want to put all your eggs into one basket. And by, by that, I mean that if you're buying a large storage system for your Ninja, the problem may be that it may get corrupted. So that's one terabyte of storage that you just purchased. And it's perhaps the best thing to just buy maybe 500 and just split that load just in case you were to lose all that footage. And uh, it's not like most cameras that maybe have dual slots. Well, this camera doesn't have that either. But, you know, like, I tend, I tend to believe that maybe XQDs are more reliable than uh, hard drives. Since hard drives tend to crash quite a bit. And the old SSDs are not the most reliable uh, hard drives that ever came out. So, that's what I did. I ended up purchasing a whole new hard drive for this. But... Let me read you the list that's here for the 
let me read you the list from Atomist that's here for you to look at and uh, and see how this whole thing stacks up. They they have an uh, they having a proof list of uh, of hard drives that you can use, but they're all quite expensive. And I see the reasoning why, perhaps, because all of these hard drives tend to uh, support 4K 60 uh, frames per second without a problem, but some of them don't, and even and even the most expensive ones don't do it either. So let's start with the Angelbird Artemis 4K RAW. Okay, 500 gigs. That one's over $400. I I'll, I have it in the cart, so I'll show you the actual price of all these guys. And uh, I could not find the Artemis 4K RAW Echo or Eco. I could not find it. That's only 250 gigs. I'm sure, it's quite expensive as well. The Artemis 4K RAW Eco 1 terabyte, probably expensive. I did find the Angelbird 500. Oh no, I actually found the Sony. I couldn't find the Angelbird uh, 500. And the I did find the uh, Artemis, the Autumn X SSD Mini 1 terabyte. But I think instead I found the 2 terabyte, and that was also over $300. The Angelbird AV Pro XT 2 terabyte. I think I found that one was a red version, or maybe it was it's a better one or an older one, but that's the only one I could find that was the AV Pro. And I have a price on that as well. The G Technology Master Caddy 4K hard drives. I also found those, and those are in the 300 range. And the Samsung 850 Pro. Those hard drives are quite expensive for some reason, and they're only uh, they only come in 240. I haven't seen a five uh, five hundred like it specifies here, and they're over two hundred dollars. So the they're not even making them. I only found the eight sixty Pro, and that's the one that I'm pricing it with. And then the SanDisk uh, Pro, that's also a two forty gig. It don't come any bigger, and if they do, I can't find them. And those are um, a little expensive as well. And the Sony Autumn X SSD Mini, I also found that one. And Thus far, I can tell you that the best, the best hard drive for your buck may be the Western Digital hard drive that you can use with this system. And I had no issues whatsoever, nothing. It, it acquired and captured the footage just perfect. Like I had problems with 1080-60p uh, before, and I also had problems anytime I used uh, 4K, regardless of the frame rate, I just had problems with it. With this one, I'm not having that issue whatsoever. It just works. So I spent, so let me go through the prices on that and show you what it was, okay? So let me see. Let's start from the bottom because that's where the first thing I found. The Angelbird Caddy, uh, Master Caddy 4K RAW, 500 gigs for 429. The Samsung 860 Pro SSD, 556 gigabit, gigabytes. For eighty-seven dollars, actually not bad, but that's only uh, two fifty-six. The Sony two terabyte Automax SSD Mini uh, for four hundred and fifty-eight dollars for two terabytes is not that bad, but nonetheless, it's still quite on the high end. Uh, the Angel Ver Angelbird AV Pro MK3 one terabyte for three hundred and nineteen dollars. The G Technology one terabyte Automax Master Caddy 4K SSD for $349. Wow. And the SanDisk, SanDisk Extreme Pro 240 gigs for $99. That's not that bad, but the best one is this one thus far. The Western Digital Blue 3D NAND 500 gigs SSD for $64.99. I will have the link to this one down below for you to uh, check it out. But I purchased I purchased that uh, a few days ago and I got it uh, yesterday night. But I just tested it this morning to see how it would work, and then I had to do some other things. But uh, thus far, it's not giving me any issues compared to the other hard drive that I have. And uh, this is the original hard drive I purchased, and I believe it was also uh, it was a one terabyte. Actually, I'll show you right here. So the original hard drive I purchased was this one. All right, there we go. So this is the original hard drive I purchased. And this is the model. 
the 860 QVO. This is, I think, uh, at the lower end of what uh, Samsung makes. It's giving me headaches ever since I bought it. And this caddy here, which I thought, okay, I'm going to buy another caddy by itself and just use that as my second drive. Well, it was a much better deal because I got the, where is it? This one here. I got the Master Caddy 2.5 size, and it's a five piece for less than $40. So you get five caddies in here for less than $40, and then you can put a, uh, you can use it to add any hard drives you want onto your system. And the one I chose, like I said, was this one here. So this is the one I purchased, and this is perhaps your best value for the buck here. This is what I got. So as you can tell, it looks extremely simple and there's nothing to it, but this is the model I got. All right, so this hard drive, by far I believe is the best thing I purchased. And it's 500 gigs, $65 basically. And what I'm gonna do is actually buy maybe four or five more and keep them in all those caddies so I can actually use them due to the fact that I do not want to put a lot of footage in one drive and if I can just spread them around I think they'll be a lot easier uh, and, uh, and safer to keep around so that's that and uh, that's exactly what I want to bring forth to you guys is the fact that Skippy as they call it Kangaroo Jack is what I call it is not your friend and even though every time it, uh, it appears, it tends to create a whole new file of whatever it is you were doing. So you don't lose anything really. It just kind of stops and maybe you lose a frame or two and then it creates a whole new file for you to keep on recording. And, um, but if you're like me and you're not too sure of what, what, the, what the hell that thing is, it bothers you. And it bothered me for quite some time. And now that I know what it is and how I fixed it, maybe if you have that problem, maybe it is the same thing too. Well, I went to change all my HDMI cables thinking that it was the problem, but not. it has never been the HDMI cables. Um, all the cables I bought were properly, uh, they were to proper specs and they were never an issue. So today I found the problem and I'm happy that I solved it. And maybe that would help you, uh, That maybe that would also like, settle your thoughts and save your headache so i hope that you actually this thing helped you out and if it's something that you think you're having a problem with start with that change your hard drive so they all have they all have barriers which I, which sucks i guess because it's an ssd it should be able to write anything that you send to it but the lower end model hard drives i guess they have problems with the cache maybe, and that's the reason why it cannot sustain that frame rate uh, being sent to it. So, this is another video that I made. I hope you like it. It's probably my seventh one thus far, and uh, I'm getting, I hope a little better at keeping this camera running and not chopping away too much of, of the conversation. So, thank you. And if you see Kangaroo Jack, tell him I say hello and goodbye. I'll see you.